All right, a key with any good preset system is a mechanism to get feedback on the presets themselves. And on my theuavtech.com website, on my presets here, I had a mechanism in place where I could receive, you know, starring based on that. And you can see some of these, you know, I had 300, 300 on Whoops toothpick. Around 600 people provided feedback on my five inch freestyle preset and so on and so forth uh, down to the more exotic uh, nine and 10 inch. Well, in the Betaflight 4.3 preset system, you can provide feedback there as well. Actually, even a little bit better than I had on my website. So when you first click on the presets tab in Betaflight 4.3, you will notice some are marked as official, experimental, and community. And that is a way to track the status of the preset. So all new presets come in and are always started as experimental. After they receive enough feedback, they will then turn into community presets. And then after a long enough time, they will become official presets after a number of people have used those. So a huge part of having presets step through those stages is you providing feedback on these presets. So today we're going to show you how to do that. So it's really pretty simple. Uh, so for example, on this preset here, this is my five inch preset. If you wanted to provide feedback on that, you would just click on it here uh, after you've loaded it and used it and you know whatever your thoughts are, you would hit the discussion button right here. And that will go ahead and take you to the linked PR, the pull request that actually brought that preset in or, or if there was changes to the preset or whichever, it will take you to the appropriate spot. The preset uh, author wants you to go uh, for information on this preset. So for this, you will need to have a GitHub account. If you do not have one, of course, you go up here to the sign up and go ahead and create an account for yourself. Many people have an account already. I have one as well, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. After you're all signed in, really just go down to the bottom here and in the comments here, you write your comments of what you think about the preset, like work great. Um, just anything, any thoughts, if you had any troubles, you know, I, po positive or negative, you would write those comments in here. After you're done with the comments, uh, you can even load photos or images into this. Uh, not so much videos, but uh, photos or images. If you've loaded a video uh, on the preset, you did a flight on the preset and put it on YouTube, you could put that link in here as well. And then you just go ahead and hit comment here. And that's it. It's really just that simple. So I know I would appreciate anybody giving feedback on any of my presets, the good, the bad, uh, whichever you have, any experiences, any uh, flight footage, any uh, uh, anything of that nature. Um, yeah, that would uh, step them through from experimental to community to official along the way. And I would recommend the same for any other presets you're using out there. This goes also for, you know, there's OSD presets, uh, there's RC link presets, VTX table presets, any of that stuff, uh, go ahead and feel free to give any comments on that. Okay, well, thanks everybody, and I hope this helps.